Hello, everybody. It's May 18th, 2018, and this is News Break. Good afternoon, everybody. Sad news to report uh, about a school shooting. Yeah, this seems to be a common occurrence here in the United States. School officials say eight, possibly ten people, and this could change uh, after I record this, have been killed in a shooting at a Houston area high school. The suspect in the shooting at Santa Fe High School has been arrested and secured, and another suspected person has been detained. The school district also confirmed an unspecified number of people were injured. So, there we go, another school shooting. How many of these do we have to have before we start doing something about gun laws, huh? The Senate confirmed Gina Haspel on Thursday as the first female director of the CIA following a difficult nomination process. Our good president, you know who he is, Donald Trump, on Thursday defended his use of the word animals to describe some immigrants, answering a reporter's question Trump said his comment a day earlier had clearly been directed at the members of MS-13's gang. And I agree with that, and I think, you know, for once the president is right. And so is a stop clock twice a day. President Trump donated his $100,000 quarterly salary to the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, he doesn't need it anyway, right? He's so fucking rich he can afford it. I wish the rest of us were. The future king of England will walk Meghan Markle down the aisle when she marries his son, Prince Harry, tomorrow in a show of welcome to the family. French lawmakers have passed legislation to impose fines for sexual harassment in public places. And now here's one thing. We have a thing called hive collapse. It happens with bees, and they don't know why. And the bees are thinning out, and we need those bees, because if we don't have the bees, all life as we know it here on this planet is going to die. Well, they find now when fed probiotics, bee colonies are more resistant to nosmosis, a fungal infection linked with colony uh, collapse disorder. So maybe they've found the answer to this. It's, by the way, the same thing that helps with my IBS. Uh, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration said it has approved for the first time a non-opioid drug for the treatment of opioid withdrawal. Now, let me see if I can get the name of this drug. Lusamyracan. Hey, I think I did it. It can be used as part of a long-term treatment. It'll stop people from uh, getting muscle aches and vomiting and diarrhea and having anxiety and sleep problems and sweats, all the things we love to see people do, right? There's a new CEO over at Fox News. Her name is Suzanne Scott. They finally decided to put a woman in there. I guess they did it because of all the guy problems, all right? Uh, she would be, I guess, the final uh, idea of how they're going to replace Roger Ailes. Uh, the company is shaking up the top executive ranks ahead of an anticipated transition to what they call the new Fox. What the hell is the new Fox? And finally, a, and I wish I, could, I wish I could play you the video of this, but it's licensed. Yes, viral videos are licensed by certain companies now who are making a fortune off of licensing these things. But I saw it, and it's very funny. A Florida pet owner says their African gray parrot's latest obsession is Amazon Alexa. And she's been using it to terrorize the house. The owner of Petra, an African gray Congo parrot, learned to operate the Alexa on her owner's Echo and has taken to ordering the virtual assistant to turn the lights on. <laughs> if you want to see it, go online. It's there. Well, we have our picture of the day. Let me just get it ready here. And this, I, I just love pictures like this because it makes us feel, uh, as, as human beings, that our little planet and us are like little microbes compared to the majesty of this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lagoon Nebula, and the photograph was taken by the Hubble Telescope. Boy, that Hubble Telescope is worth every penny. Look at that, the Lagoon Nebula. Don't you feel like just nothing, okay, compared to that? And finally, we go to our video from last night's ramble, and everybody got into a big argument about the Electoral College, and it got rather heated and funny as well. I'd like to remind everybody that 
we gave this election up because of a screwed up double jointed system that no other intelligent democracy has who got the most popular votes i hear bits Hillary. You know, right. you're crying over spilt milk, Jack. I'm, no, I'm talking about what's right and what's wrong and what's wrong. No, 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 no. You, no, you know, no, 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 You're dreaming. No, no, I, no. Sit, bozo, sit. Oh, oh. It, you know, there we go. hey, next you'll be calling me Jew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll call you Jaime and you can call me nigga and that's square. That oh, Jack, I got, I got, I got a and that was from last night's Citizen Panel. You can catch the Citizen Panel every night at 10 o'clock Eastern uh, Time, um, Tuesday through Friday. So it'll be on, I guess, tonight as well. Uh, just go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett Live. What you do there is you get a page and it's got the uh, player on it. And you can actually tab it on your browser. And there's a countdown to when the next show is. And then when the next show goes on, you don't do anything. It just starts and you can watch it. So it's, it can always be there on your browser. We also can be found after the fact on Facebook, on YouTube, on iTunes, on Vimeo, on Livestream. Uh, you can, uh, and you can, you can hear our programs in any other number of places. I can't remember all of them. Okay, but we're around town, as I like to say, more than a cheap suit. Listen, have a nice weekend, everybody. And that's our news break for May 18th, 2018.